Hey, I nearly forgot I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Let me boot it up. In this game, the baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game, all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. Good to see that enthusiasm. Keep it up, Stanley. Just three hours and 45 minutes left to go. Okay, so clearly you're in it for the long haul. Although I find it hard not to believe you're simply running a program to click the button over and over automatically, which kind of ruins the point of the game, don't you think? Wouldn't that take the art out of it? You can tell me in your post-playtest analysis. Just popping in to say hi. I hope you weren't expecting more regular intervals of commentary from me, but that's not why you're here, is it? You're here for the game, for the art, for the endlessly spiraling sense of pointlessness and despair. Yes, this is what drives your every action. Keep clicking that button for hope, for freedom, for science, for love. Don't ever, ever stop. You know, I've been spending the last two hours here embroiled in thought, and it's occurred to me, this game is incomplete. It's missing something. It still doesn't have that oomph. What is it, I thought to myself? What could possibly be missing from this incredible experience? And then in a moment of rapture, as though delivered by angels, it came to me. Before this moment, I was blind, but those days are behind us. I now understand the true manifestation of this game. It needs a puppy. That's right, this puppy is being lowered toward an aquarium filled with nothing but piranha. Now you have to click the second button to avert the puppy's death in addition to the babies. This is it, Stanley. Art! I did it! Video games are art! Ah, oh, but you have a good two hours or so to go, so I'll, I'll just let you get to that. No time to waste when there is such a meaningful game to be played. Bon chance, mon ami! Ah, good to see both the puppy and the baby are still alive. It warms my heart to see how deeply the message of this game has resonated with you. I can only imagine the joy welling up in your chest, the sheer joy of such pure distilled life essence flowing through your veins. It must be amazing. I'm jealous of you, truly I am. No, seriously, I'm deeply envious of your position at this very moment. Ah, the joy of artistic expression must be even stronger now. Drink it in, Stanley. Few people on this planet will ever get such an experience. Peer through space and time. The universe unravels itself at your feet. This is the one true meaning of life. I know we said this would go on for four hours, but what if you never stopped? Think about it. You could just keep going forever. Visitors would come from around the world to see the man who never stopped pushing the buttons. You would be famous. That's what you've always wanted, right? To be famous? That and the surging power of artistic beauty to flow through you for all of eternity. You could have both of these things. We'll talk about it when you get there. Have we really been doing this for over three and a half hours? Goodness, how time flies. Wouldn't you say it's flown? Oh, no, you, you don't have to answer that. I understand you're quite busy. Just, just keep at it. Almost there. Nearly there, Stanley. Art itself is about to burrow into your skull. Aren't you excited for spiritual immortality? For transcendence and oneness with the beauty and essence of all beings? Just a few seconds now? Oh. 
Hit. Hit.